You are welcome, Daddy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Please be seated. Please be seated. <laughs> I am delighted to be here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm extremely happy to be with you today and I can assure you the almighty God will surprise you by this time yesterday I wasn't sure I would be here but uh, the almighty God said I should go that means there must be somebody Whose miracle cannot wait to tomorrow. You know, David said, I was glad when they said unto me, Let's go to the house of the Lord. Why was he glad? Because he knows, according to Psalm 16, verse 11. That in the presence of God, there is the fullness of joy. And so I want to decree to all of you who are here today. From now on, your joy will be full. He, he knew. That if you can get into the house of God, you will have come into the house of the great physician, the one who never refers a case. So he knows that if you come to the house of God sick, you are likely to go home well. So I want to decree in the name that's above every other name that every form of sickness or disease in your life went today. He was fully aware that when you come to the house of God, you have come into the house of the Lord of hosts, the one who has never lost a war. And so I can confidently say that because we are here this afternoon, all the wars in your life are over. He was fully aware that if you come into the house of God, you have come into the house of the one who is the light. And the Bible says, arise and shine, for your light has come. And so because you are here this afternoon, beginning from now, you will begin to shine. Finally, before we pray, he was aware that when you come to the house of God, you have come to the house of prayers. You know, Jesus Christ said it, my house shall be called the house of prayers. And the reason they call it the house of prayers is because 
there God does answer prayers. You see, the Bible says you must seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he's near. Now, when you are in his house, you can't be nearer than that. So when you call on God in the house of God, you are sure of answers. So in the next two minutes, I'm going to ask you to pray. And the one who answers prayers, will answer your prayer today. <laughs> so just go ahead for the next two minutes. Ask God for something special. Ask God for a dedication miracle. A miracle that you will never forget. So that this day will remain permanent in your memory. As the day the tide turned for the better for you. Oh, thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Let's begin to bring our prayers to a close. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We bless your name, O Lord. And we confess you that you are the Lord. beginning and the ending, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come, the Almighty, we bless your name. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. My Father, my God, we thank you for building this house. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Thank you for another house of the Lord. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are dedicating this house to you today. Come and dwell here. Amen. Let prayers be answered here. Amen. Let the sick be healed here. Amen. Let captives be set free here. Amen. Let the barren become fruitful here. Amen. Let the retarded be promoted here. If they bring in the dead here, let the dead rise. Beginning from today, every prayer prayed here, answer by fire. And all your children who are here today, my Father and my God, everything they have asked for, give unto them. Surprise them. Bless them. Amen. Defend them. Amen. Fight their battles for them. Amen. 
and all who have contributed one way or the other to the building of this edifice by Father and my God. Build mansions for them. Don't let them miss their mansion in heaven. And Lord God Almighty, even before this evening, when the other program will be taking place, let everyone here already have testimony. From this very parish, Lord, let mighty revival break out. Thank you, my Father. And I pray that in your kingdom, none of us will be missing. Even as we dedicate this building to you in the name of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Well, do you believe that your own case is already settled? Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.